What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Today I'm coming to you to react to Ryan Garcia, King Rye, knocking out Luke Campbell in the seventh round. Man, very good fight. Love what I saw throughout the fight. First round, Garcia came out stalking Luke Campbell. Strong punch, you hear him. Boom, boom. Even if they block, when you hear punches like that, it makes an impact on you as a fan, as a judge. You're like, dang, this dude's throwing some blows. And Luke Campbell wasn't really able to throw back in the first round. Second round, Luke Campbell was adjusting, going to the body. And he did a great move where, from the southpaw stance, he's a southpaw, went to the body with the jab, came with the overhand left, knocked Ryan Garcia down. First time Garcia's been down in his professional career, and he said it was the first time he was down in his life. So at this point, not only are we trying to figure out how he's going to respond, he's trying to figure out how he's going to respond. First time he ever been knocked down. How do you respond? How do you come back? He came back in the third round was great. was great in that third round. He was adjusting to it. He came back still very flat-footed. I don't like how flat-footed he fights, but that's more of his style. But he definitely was still throwing blows. He did great body work in the third round, which was a, you could say, a foreshadowing of what would happen later on in the fight. Fourth round, I gave to Luke Campbell. I thought Luke Campbell did great body work in the fourth round, mixing up his punches, mixing up his levels going up and down. Fifth round, Ryan Garcia comes back, controls the round, and catches him with a left hook, right? Right at the end of the round, hurts Luke Campbell. Now, my keys going into the fight for Luke Campbell is to keep up his right hand so he doesn't get caught with Ryan Garcia's left hook, right? Caught him, hurt him. Good thing it was in and around because if it wasn't, he would have got knocked out right there, right? Sixth round, Ryan Garcia comes out blazing, just looking for the knockout. Luke Campbell's a veteran. He's been there before. Covers up, holds, spins out of the corner. He knows what to do in those situations. So he gets through the first minute of the sixth round. I'm like, okay, cool. Luke Campbell's been here. He may lose this fight, but he will survive for, you know, he can get to where the points will be scored. Boy, was I wrong. Seventh round, <laughs> Ryan Garcia comes forward. Luke Campbell has a high guard. So he comes forward. He takes a step forward, right? Luke Campbell is expecting a hook upstairs, maybe a right hand upstairs. So he covers up. All this open. Ryan Garcia steps forward. Ugh. Left hook to the body. Luke Campbell takes a step back. <gasps> All the airs out of him. Has to go down. Not to one knee, but to two. And could not get up before 10. Crazy body shot. Reminds me of Bernard Hopkins versus Oscar De La Hoya. If you remember that one. Where Bernard Hopkins went to the left hook to the body. Ugh. You heard Oscar De La Hoya. Just, <gasps> you heard it come out of him. It was that kind of body shot. Ryan Garcia is the real deal. He's ready for Tank. He's ready for Devin Haney, Tafimo Lopez. Only thing I would say is that he does need to improve his head movement going forward. Luke Campbell does have a good shot, but if he's getting knocked down by Luke Campbell, Tank, if Tank catches him, it could be night-night. It could be night-night. So he needs to improve that, but he definitely is ready. He's on that level with those other gentlemen that I mentioned earlier. But congratulations to Ryan Garcia. Prove me wrong. I had Garcia winning, but by decision. Luke Campbell's been in there with the best of the best and never been stopped. So Ryan Garcia definitely showed that he is someone special in the lightweight division. Can't wait to see what he does going forward. Tank, Devin Haney. He's not, I don't think he's going to get Lopez yet. He needs to fight one of those other guys, but they're right there. Even Vasil Lomachenko. It's right there. Ryan Garcia is ready. So let's give him that big fight. All right. And until next time, go real or go home.